Did you know your vinyl is killing you? I'm serious. I mean, physically killing you. Let's get into this video. So I was recently inspired to do this video because Lord just announced that she is not releasing her new album on CD because of environmental hazards, which made me chuckle because I recently found out that it's, I mean, vinyl is horrible to produce, but not just that, vinyl is not only horrible for the environment globally, but for you, the consumer once in home. I know, hear me out. Let's get into what is going on here because I knew about this a little too late and I'm now slowly considering fleeing abruptly. Now, disclaimer for this video, I just want to say I'm no chemist, but the information that I read uh, blew my mind. Now, let's get into this. Records are made out of PVC, polyvinyl chloride, and the process to make them is incredibly hazardous. Uh, they don't even really legalize it, but the stuff that's in, the, in PVC is horrible. I mean, there's, these are, PVC is like carcinogen magnet, you know, all kinds of cancers to the body. And here's the thing guys, PVC degrades over time, just like how your records degrade over time. This is why, um, but they degrade over time through use or polymers. Polymers, because it degrades over time, polymers are produced um, and, and, and they kind of not only are they horrible because it oxidizes in the air and you start to breathe it in. It starts to go into your, you know, your lungs, then into the bloodstream and then your liver because your liver has to deal with all the waste of the body. Uh, but your liver doesn't really know what to do with these because they are kind of foreign chemicals. It's a strange thing to sort of put away. So it tucks it away and stores it in a weird place the body and it starts to build up and this is where it's dangerous of course because there's no way to waste the waste and so it, your body starts to create new substances for this foreign mechanism and in a day when your body kind of starts to filtrate its system um you know pass everything passes through the urine and such but the things that your liver made for the PVC that you inhaled will never leave. Can you imagine that? Ay ay ay. Yeah. And of course all these things that it causes, I mean infertility issues, thyroid problems. I mean the list is endless of the cancers that, that can go on with all that kind of stuff. But brutal. And of course, most people don't have like industrial rooms, you know, <laughs> when they're listening to their records, they have just a normal room that they, they listen to these things and there's no industrial pipings happening out here to be able to filtrate that out. And so you're inhaling this and you're inhaling it long, especially if you have a long musical session like I do. Shoot. The process for making records too is so it's so unregulated. It's kind of like bottled water. They don't really check really what's going in there. They just kind of put them in and shh, you know what I mean? It's almost, I mean, like at least tap water, they check it. You know what I mean? Bottled water, it's just like, ooh, I watch documentaries on this, guys. Don't come for me in the comments. But anyways, it's the same kind of process with records, you know? They don't really check what's going on. There's no system for this. And I looked into what's in there and we've got lead, thalum, thorum, barium. I mean, all these things are so... I mean, you... are you ready for the Grim Reaper, honey? And check out what's also really weird about this. Let's say all of a sudden now you're super paranoid and worried and you want to get rid of all this. Guess what? The landfills won't even accept your records either. That's how dangerous they are. <laughs> they don't care. They're like, figure it out. Do something with them. Give them to somebody else or find a way to use them as decoration because they are so toxic 
that we don't even want them in the landfills. Damn. But seriously, if you don't believe, I mean, seriously, just Google how to dispose or get rid of vinyl. You'll laugh. They'll just offer options like give it to a friend. Figure something out, kid. Kick them like a soccer ball. We're waiting for these things to get produced, but we don't really realize what happens to them when they're unwanted. Also, quick shout out time to Ben who made an amazing video on this. He actually did the scientific part of it and got all the equipment and stuff to really test this out and put a needle onto the player and actually had a meter to check on how dangerous this stuff really is. I'm gonna share you with you a little snippet of this video and what I'm talking about and it will blow you away. Check it out. I deeply cleaned and aired out the room long before introducing the turntable or air monitor. What we're looking for here is any noticeable jump in PM 2.5 or PM 10, which is the concentration of particulate matter per cubic meter. At levels above 30 for PM 2.5 and above 50 for PM 10, you begin to have breathing discomfort for sensitive individuals. But remember, we already know that the particulate matter is vinyl chloride, so any increase in particulate matter is probably bad news. A jump in TVOC, or total volatile organic compounds, would be pretty convincing. So as planned, we introduce as little to the room as possible other than vinyl. I'm wearing a mask so my breathing will have a minimal effect on the environment. My first choice is an old record under an alternate moniker of mine from 2005. I wait for a few minutes, and to my total and utter surprise, the total volatile organic compounds rise and rise, and the formaldehyde levels increase by six-fold. The monitor does something I didn't even realize it did. It starts beeping to warn me that the air has become unqualified. So, okay, I think something is up here. I stop playing the record and put it back in the box to see if their monitor returns to safe levels. And it does. So I play a different record, another one of mine from 2006. Within moments, the TVOC levels skyrocket and the alarm is re-triggered. So okay, maybe my records are just overwhelmingly toxic or something, or perhaps it's because these particular records have never been played before. So I grab an old vintage album that I've probably played about 200 times over the last 20 years. I put it on the turntable, and before the needle even touches the record, the TVOC levels trigger the alarm. So for the hell of it, I just pretend to shuffle through records as if I were going through a collection or a DJ crate. The TVOC levels from the degassing is so intense that the air monitor reaches levels unsafe for short-term inhalation. Damn! I truly expected this to be a waste of time and money and just a shot in the dark that wouldn't even end up as a segment in the video, but I did not prepare myself for actual results like this that were so alarming to the point where this device would tell me that I'm not even supposed to be breathing the air next to a record. Wasn't that cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs? Wasn't that nuts? Nuts. But here's the thing, nobody's advertising that. Nobody's advertising that because they don't want the people to know because vinyl is cool right now and they don't want anybody to really realize the consequences of people potentially not getting into vinyl anymore for ethical reasons, you know? If a lot of people find out about this, I'm sure there will be a bit of an uproar. So the question is, why isn't there really a safer method to make vinyl. I'm sure they can use different materials. I mean, I mean, the science has gotten technologically advanced exponentially fast as of late. So the question is, why haven't they looked into it? Is it maybe because no one's really cared? No one has really known for this long that we haven't kind of uproared and fought against it? Because we could always make a stop to this if we kind of started to stop buying the vinyl made from a certain kind of material and demanded another form of more eco-friendly, healthier vinyl, um, maybe this would change. Now, I mean, I just, I hate the fact that seeing that video of him dropping that needle and the, the fumes and the rates going nuts, I mean, that sucks. You just want to be able to enjoy it without dying, maybe, you know? Since when did music kill? Music healed, baby. This ain't cool. Damn. What are your thoughts on all of this, guys? Let me know if you ever heard of this because I've never seen anybody really talk about this. And it's kind of wild because this is a bit of a, you know, vinyl scandal to some degree that is really a shame, you know? People come 
to, you know, they want to listen to records because it, it takes them away from sorrow, not provides more sorrow. What are your thoughts, guys? I'd love to know. Down in those comments below, please, let's have this uh, tango of the mouth, shall we say. And, uh, of course, till we meet again. Toodaloo, baby. Toodaloo. <laughs> oh, my God, the PVC is choking me already. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs>